Let's do Tech Thursday. Ghanaian primary and pre tertiary students have started building robots that can compete on the global stage through the study of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. With STEM education having been identified as a subject that sharpens the mind of students, these children have also developed easy-to-play mobile games and are hoping to win gold for Ghana when they represent the country at the 2024 VEX Robotics World Championship in the United States later this month. Artificial intelligence has taken the world by storm. Our everyday lives are gradually being influenced by AI. STEM education has started gaining grounds in Ghana, with kids being taught how to build robots from an early age. Through hands-on experience and guidance from dedicated coaches from Bountiful STEM Educational Foundation, these kids have honed their skills in coding, engineering, and problem solving to sophisticated robots capable of competing at a global level. They are confident of their chances when they participate in the 2024 VEX Robotics World Championship. Well, to compete with other people from all over the world, I think us as Ghanaians, we are going to do very well. We've been practicing and we've been training for so long that I think when we go there, we are really going to be able to perform. We were in a whole team. The team, everybody has their specialities. We have drivers, we have designers, we have their builders. So like everybody with their own special speciality, all the drivers went to one side, all the designers went to one side, and all the builders went to one side. Because I'm a designer, me and my other colleagues who are also designers, we designed these ideas. We then gave the design to the builders to translate it into the physical VEX pieces. After that, we all came together to build the robots. This robot was built in three parts, the drivetrain, the bucket, and the roller. Um, when I started, I was taken to VEX IQ. So I wasn't able to go for the competitions, but all I can see, we built um, something that was like, um, let's say, a robot moved. So we attached wheels under it. So, so for a standing figure, I would have looked like this, which would be moving, could talk, and then sense other people around it. So far, we've been creating robots. We have created a um, drivetrain. Um, a claw board and then um, last year the competition we went yes I was part of the builders who made that robot and then this year to yeah I helped build the robot I, I want to become a specialized engineer in the future co-founder of bountiful stem educational foundation Seth Ogoayim expressed satisfaction with the progress stem education has made in Ghana uh, most parents are enrolling their children because one, they've seen improvement not only because of COVID. The kids are developing critical thinking skills. They are, they are becoming uh, good at managing their time and resources and continued learning. And most important, uh, our program teach the children to be able to overcome uh, challenges. Even when there's failure, it's part of the program for you to understand. And then we have this principle that each child have the opportunity to grow. So over the year, it's not about just going for the competition. We're preparing these, stu these students to be a critical think thinker, problem solver, and most importantly, a lifelong learners. The parents of some of the children enrolled at the Bountiful STEM Educational Foundation have seen positive changes in their kids' attitudes towards studies and the ability to build robots and develop mobile games. Yeah, so for the, the girl, when she came, so they had to download some softwares. And that was the beginning of their coding. They, had, they downloaded some um, softwares called Scratch. So you started using it to learn how to design video games. So in the house, she was able to design some video games for the younger brother to play, right? And they also learned how to, I think that was part of engineering, build small cars. But so you see, they always, they've told them to, and I remember the last time we were going, they were saying that they should find problems in the society. So they're looking at the road, what, what problems are there, and how will they solve those problems? I think the experience has been very great, very, very great in terms of their mental capacity to think and um, their ability to do homeworks even without supervision. So I think that it's a very nice program. This program, when you actually join this program, is not just merely learning technology but it's more like learning project management and technology in addition. As they set their sights on the competition ahead, these students are poised to make their mark on the world stage. 
proving that the future of robotics belongs to those who dare to dream and strive for greatness.